Hey guys, it's Ben. Hope you had a great week. There's a couple of you guys that may be tuning in for the first time because you saw the title about Monjero or something. And that's what we're here to talk about. I do this thing once a week where uh, I do a vlog where I do my blood sugars and all that throughout the week and I tell you what, if it's improved or not improved, uh, as far as my diabetes uh, go. And I also do a weigh-in once a week. I only weigh in once a week. No other times do I weigh in, only today. So I haven't weighed in since last Sunday, so I don't know if I've lost or if I've gained because we do it live here, <clears throat> excuse me, on the uh, vlog. I'm having those uh, sulfur burps now, which is a side effect that a lot of you guys know about. It smells like eggs, it's terrible. Uh, and I, you know, can't sugarcoat it. What it is is it's food that's not passed through your track yet that's slowly rotting, uh, and that's what you're burping up. So basically, a reverse fart. I hate to tell you, tell you that, but it's gross, I know. And I will be brushing my teeth here as soon as we're finished. Uh, in the meantime, I apologize for getting so graphic, but it is what it is, right? Uh, we're going to get into my blood sugar and my weight, whether I gained or I lost. One week I gained, I was really kind of bummed out about it, and I was really not wanting to share it with you guys, but I just let it roll, and it's like a lot of you guys were so encouraging, and you're letting me know that sometimes that happens. So and you were right, sometimes it does happen. Since then, I, it's not happened again, and I've slowly been losing weight. I think last week was one of my better weeks uh, as far as a weight loss throughout the week, and that was almost four pounds, you guys, I lost in one week, and that never happens to me. So, uh, but before we get into the, uh, the blood results and the weight, I wanted to first bring up a couple comments that I'm gonna be talking about later in the video, just to kind of get you thinking about it, kind of like, how would you respond if you were me, right? Uh, don't tell me. Uh, let's wait until we talk about it after the results. The first comment that I wanted to talk about and address really was uh, Lou Holt, 9632 said, I'm not trying to be rude or critical, but you would look better if you trained, uh, trimmed your stash and your beard. Otherwise, I like watching you, right? And if you didn't watch the last one, uh, you should go well, I'll show you a couple pictures here so you don't have to go watch it. Show you a couple pictures, uh, screenings that I took uh, of what I think she's talking about. We're going to address that comment. And, you know, you kind of think about, formulate what you would say, what, how you would uh, respond to that. Uh, another question was, and this one kind of got me defensive, right? This is my old thinking coming back. And I recognized it like right away, right? She says, do you work out? If not, Maybe you need to move more for your digestion, right? I read that like I anticipated that that question would be asked, right? We put our defenses up as soon as something, right? You know, right? Stuff like that, right? Here, may I say, stuff like that makes you like, you know, I've tried everything, right? Right. Uh, I do, uh, I'm going to address that, right? Uh, because there is some honesty needed with the response on this one. We're gonna do it after the results. And then the last comment that I'm gonna address is the big problem is it causes penis enlargement. Be careful. And that's from Blubber Booty. So Blubber Booty, thanks for the uh, comment. We're gonna address that as well. Uh, anyway, let's get to the blood results, you guys. This has been a really great week for me. Uh, although I haven't taken my weight quite yet, uh, I have done my blood results and I've averaged it all out and everything. So uh, I talked about last week about how my, I was a little worried, it was two weeks ago actually, how I was a little worried that my blood sugar was getting actually too low. There was one morning I woke up and I tested it and was like, I don't know, it was like 57 or 60, right? That's a little worrying, especially when my doctor said you should be between the 90 and 100 range. That's really your sweet spot. That's really what you're shooting for. She didn't expect me to get there this quick, uh, but I'm actually, I passed it a couple of weeks ago, right? So I was a little worried about my blood sugar being too low, so I've been testing it more often. Like, so when I feel a little shaky throughout the day, now for me personally, that's an indicator that my blood sugar is probably low because when I got shaky, I came in and tested it, and guess what? You know, you don't have to be a Sherlock to figure it out. My blood sugar was low, so uh, I'm, I don't know. Your, your tells, your body might tell you in other ways, right? Everybody has, everybody's body is different and reacts differently to the drugs. And 
and how you are when your blood sugar is low. I remember my dad, uh, he used to get real shaky. Uh, he couldn't stand, he'd have to sit down uh, when he added low blood sugar episodes. So we'd have to watch that. And that was way back in the day, you know, when this kind of treatment kind of stuff just started. So anyway, we're here. And I was a little concerned, so I've been testing my blood more often. That's what I'm trying, it's a long story short, sorry. So my starting blood sugar when I uh, got put on Monjero, the reason, the whole reason I got put on this drug was because my blood sugar was 474, right? My A1C was 10 point something, I think. It was terrible. Uh, I've got the little graphic here on my records to show you what all my numbers were, and they were not very good, right? So I started this Monjero about 11 weeks ago, uh, and my blood sugar, starting sugar, was 474. Uh, this week, my blood sugar high, the highest that I tested, was 98, right? So I'm in that I'm in that zone, I'm not over 100, it's 98, and my lowest was 71. Uh, I can live with 71, and that was a fasting blood sugar, and that's a wake-up blood sugar, that's my lowest one. And that took place uh, the day, last Saturday, right, before I had taken my next injection, that, that was my waking blood sugar, 71. So, anyway, uh, the average this week, 86.1. So that's not bad. Uh, 86.1, it's a little on the low end, but I, I'd rather err on the, on the low end than on the high end, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I will be talking to my doctor about uh, my results. I send her this, I can email her my, my results. So she can review them and tell me uh, if they're out of whack or whatever, right? Or tell me, yeah, keep, keep up the good work, or you know, maybe eat a little bit more, uh, you know, whatever. So blood sugar average, 86.1 this week, not terrible. So let's get right to the weight so we can get to the BS. I wanna talk about some of the comments, right? All right, here we go. Uh, last week's weight, if you'll remember, was 169.4. I had lost like four pounds almost. Let's see if I've gained or lost this week. Uh, here we go. 169.4. We're going in the right direction. Uh, 168.8 is uh, 0.6 pounds loss from last week. I'll take it. I'll take it. My t I'm telling you, I wore pants today to, to show you something, right? I don't put pants on very much anymore. I mean, why put pants on if I'm teleworking every single day, right? I only wear pants when I go out, right? Although I do notice people running around Walmart in their pajamas and I just am not to that. Not to that level yet. I'm uh, not saying that's a low level. That might be a, a, a level above me of living because I just can't get comfortable with the fact of being that comfortable in public. You understand what I'm saying? Maybe I'm just old and I don't get it, but uh, that's just the way things go. But at home, if I'm given a choice between wearing uh, pants or pajamas, I'm wearing pajamas every single time. So. Uh, but today I'm wearing pants because I had to put pants on the other day to go out and do something. And I could not believe, I hadn't put these things on in probably two weeks. Uh, and I couldn't believe how loose they were. I have not adjusted my belt for you guys. I've kept it just like it is. I'm going to show you that when I get the shot done. There's a reason that I'm wearing the pants. Uh, but look, let's address the comments real quick. And then we're going to go into, you know, some other BS, right? First comment from Lou Holt 9632. She says, not trying to be rude or critical, but you would look better if you trimmed your stash and your beard. Otherwise, I like watching you. Uh, don't worry about, you're not rude or critical. You're honest. And, uh, you know, those are the kind of people that you want in your life. And welcome to my life, Miss Honest Person. You're right. I went back and looked at the uh, video from last week and it... <laughs> I did kind of look like a caveman. My beard was all over the place and my hair was all tangled up. Uh, I've got an excuse, but it it's, you know, it's just an excuse. I could have taken the extra time, looked in the mirror and said, you know, if you're going to do this, you might as well be respectful of your audience and at least try to look better, you know, get, improve your grooming as much as you can. Uh, but like I said, it was 29 degrees or below last week and I didn't feel like leaving the house for a haircut and beard trim. Uh, I get it done about once a month. 
Uh, so at the end of the month, it starts looking a little shaggy and you caught me. Uh, but thanks for your honesty. If my mom was alive, she would have said the same thing except for worse. And she may even thrown in a cuss word. She was not a cusser. So thanks a lot for the comment. You're right. I'll do better. Uh, the next comment that I said, you know, kind of got my guards up at the beginning of the video uh, was, do you work out? If not, maybe you need to move more for your digestion, right? We don't like, and I said that there's a, some hard truths involved in the answer to this. Now, I didn't like reading that. Why didn't I like reading that? Because I'm not working out. Do I know I have to work out? Yes, I do. I know I need to work out, right? I'm talking about a lifestyle change. And one of that things that go with that lifestyle change is I need to start moving my body more because that's all part of it, right? I can't be sitting around like I have been for the last couple of years. I need to start moving, right? I have three Labradors, so there's no excuse why I'm not out there pounding the pavement with those dogs walking around. Uh, other than the fact that it's been below 30 degrees, I keep mentioning that, I'm sorry. It's just so unusual that it's lasted for so long it's just I'm cold all the time, it feels like. Uh, the house is cold all the time. They didn't build Oklahoma houses to survive this kind of weather for this amount of time. So anyway, uh, the fact is, is no, I'm not currently working out. Am I going to? Yes, I am. I'm going to start documenting that when I do. So until you see me documenting it, you can assume that I'm not doing it. Uh, that's why I like this vlog, because it's going to hold me to doing that. And you're going to hold me to it too, right? If I don't talk about doing it next week, I totally expect one of you guys to say, hey, when's that exercise portion going to kick in? Appreciate it. Anyway, thanks for the comment. You're right. It got me off, got me thinking about it. And as soon as it's above 30, you got it. I'm going to start working out uh, cardio anyway. All right. And the last comment was from Blubber Booty. You may remember this one. He says, the big problem is it causes penis enlargement. Be careful, he's talking about the Margero injection. Uh, so far, I haven't witnessed that and the way my pants are fitting, uh, I don't think that that might be true in my case. But, like I said, everybody's body's different. Uh, let's talk about my side effects this week. There's two new ones that I wanted to add to my, add to my list. Uh, you guys know about the surf sulfur burps. Those are, they've been about the same this week as they've been the last week or two. So no changes there. Uh, although I've tried stuff, you guys have been offering your suggestions and I appreciate it. And I'll tell you, some of those suggestions have helped other things, but not with the sulfur burps, right? Uh, eating earlier in the evening was one of the biggest suggestions that I got, uh, that I actually listened to. Thank you very much. I'm glad that I did because I'm waking up much, many last days feeling nauseated, right? If I eat, I find if I eat uh, before 5.30 or so, I'm going to wake up feeling okay. Not terrible, right? Although there are a couple of days this last week that I woke up just feeling, I felt like I could puke again, right? But I didn't. I just felt nauseated. Uh, but this week it passed quicker than it did last week. It seemed like when I got on my feet, by the time I got my coffee made for the morning, that feeling was gone and I wasn't even thinking about being nauseated anymore. Uh, but I've had those two symptoms. My sleep's been better and worse. I know it's weird. Uh, when I sleep good, the nights that I sleep good, I sleep amazing. The nights that I don't sleep good, I don't sleep that great. And those are the nights, and I think I'm correlating with my GI tract problems that I've had because I've had, I've had a hard time going to the bathroom, right? Uh, so I take Miralax to get things going. And then when I do go, I take a lot of small little things to the bathroom and it's just not there's no other way to put this it's just not satisfying right you don't feel like you're getting the whole cycle done you're just doing a little bit at a time and there's there's plenty right there but it just doesn't want to continue on and that's one of the things that this drug does is it does slow down your your <clears throat> excuse me your digestion and that's why the sulfur burps because it's rotting food in your stomach right coming to the serve I know that's gross I'm gonna brush my teeth after this because I have been sulfur burping so far right in front of you. How rude, right? I've been known to be rude sometimes. I apologize. Anyway, just 100% honest. It's pretty gross and that's what it is. It's the rotting food. So uh, my mood's been great though. 
you know, all things considered, the weight loss and the fact that my blood sugars are lower, it's making me feel more energetic, less like I'm anchored down, like I'm weighed down. Like, like I'm wearing lead pants and a lead shirt. Like I, I just don't feel like doing anything. I do feel like doing stuff. The problem is right now, you guys, it's Oklahoma. And it's like 29 degrees outside. And it's never 29 degrees outside in Oklahoma. Maybe a couple of times a year. But this last week and a half, it's been below 30. Uh, my pool has got a layer of ice on it. Uh, look. I've told you guys before, <laughs> I got ADHD and sometimes I get off track, so I'm sorry. And I don't feel like going back and editing the whole thing. I do do some rough editing. Like if I say a curse word or something, I'll go take it out, right? Or if I'm getting way, way off track, I'll go edit it again. But here we go down another rabbit hole, right? I apologize. All right, let's get back to it. We were talking about my side effects. So I went through some of them. I got two new ones to add, I was saying. Uh, one of them is tiredness. I've been a little bit, I've been getting tired a little bit earlier than normal, right? I get a little bit tired. Uh, it's not happened the whole week, you know, and it's maybe because I was like feeling sick earlier this week. Maybe it's part of that. I don't know. But for the, like the last, not today so much, but two days before, uh, Thursday and fr well, Friday and Saturday, I felt pretty run down, right? This morning I woke up feeling pretty energetic. So I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, but that's a new one on me. That could be because I wasn't feeling good at the beginning of the week. Who knows? And another thing, uh, and I don't know if this is Monjero related or what, but I start, I, my feet are dry anyway because I'm diabetic and people know that you get, your feet get dry. So I keep them pretty well lathered up with the uh, moisturizing white lotions so they don't crack and stuff and that can get painful. But, uh, this, <clears throat> this week I noticed that I had like a rash, right? And I kind of thought, oh man, that must be from the moisturizing lotion that, I, that I'm using, but only on my right foot, not on my left foot. And it's like got itchy. So I didn't put any moisturizing lotion on the top because it was on the top of my foot and at the very bottom of my leg. It looked like a rash or I've never had hives, but I imagine uh, that it would look like hives, right? A little bit. Uh, you know, in about a four by three inch section of my lower leg and foot. When I scratched the dry skin off, it kind of made it raw and painful. And when I got in the shower the next morning, I could really feel it. So I don't know if this is Monjero related. I haven't heard anybody else talking about any rashes that they got, but I'm definitely going to look into it. Uh, and I'm definitely going to mention it to my doctor. Uh, I know I'm, I'm over, I'm over worried. The reason is because this drug is so new, right? We don't know everything about it yet. There's been no long-term studies as far as I know on it yet. Uh, it's worth the risk to me and it's done wonders for me so far. And I think it's going to extend my life in the long run, but there are going to be people that are not going to be able to take this drug. And I actually talked to somebody in the comments for a while and she told me that her doctor had to take her off of it because she was having adverse reactions to it. And that sucks. Uh, but hopefully they can find something for her, right? Hopefully they can. So I'm not saying that the rash is related. I'm just saying it's something to be, you know, reporting to your doctor should you come out with one. Because you don't want, we don't know much about it. And the more stuff we do know, I think the better off everybody's going to be. All right, you guys, I'm about ready to take my five milligram uh, weekly injection of the Monjero right now. Uh, Last week, I took it on my left side of my belly. This week, I'm taking it on my right side. One of the questions uh, that was asked was, uh, do you have to move it around? Or you know, can you inject it in the same injection site every week? They recommend you move it around. Uh, they suggest some injection site. They don't say that you have to hit each one. So what I do is I do it on my right one time and on my left. Last week was on my left. So this week, it's going to be on my right. Now you'll remember me saying something at the beginning of the video about my pants and stuff. Now check this out. I haven't worn these pants in a while and I put them on just the other day and, th and I, this is how they're fitting me now, right? So uh, we're gonna inject, anyway, in my right side of my belly this time. It's that time, right? Now look, <laughs> uh, 
things are changing down here uh, a little bit. So uh, my belt, this thing was, it's an elastic belt. So I kept it pretty tight and it's stretchy. So you, you, you keep it pretty tight, but it's there, it is in no way under any pressure whatsoever. I've left it this way to show you. This is, this is like three weeks, right? I am just, I mean, I'm amazed, right? And my belly's going down, the swelling's going down, I'm feeling good. Uh, we're injecting in the right side today because last week we went left, going right. Uh, it doesn't really matter uh, where you inject it. You don't wanna do it right on your belly button, that's a bad idea. They recommend about two inches away from your, from your belly button. And that's what I try to keep to. So we're gonna go into the right side. Um, gonna be honest with you, I ran out of alcohol pads, so I, did, I went at Sands last week, and that's never a good idea. Make sure you have alcohol, and make sure you prepare the area correctly. You don't wanna run into any kind of infection issues whatsoever. So we're gonna clean this area right here. Uh, we're gonna take the Mongero five milligram injection pen and we're gonna inject it in my left side right there. Two inches, like I said, away from the belly button. You'll notice on the pen there's a lock and unlock switch, uh, and on this end there's a gray cap. You remove the gray cap. You place the injector up against uh, the area that you're going to inject. There is no need to pinch your belly fat like I thought there was the first couple of weeks that I took it. I was corrected by the community, and I appreciate you doing so. Uh, I think it's actually working better. I'm getting a better injection, it feels like. Anyway, so we'll unlock it. Now it's armed and ready to go. Now if I hit this purple button on the end, it's gonna send that uh, needle into my stomach and the plunger is gonna plunge the drug into my belly fat. Uh, and we are gonna do that, but you wanna make sure that this is firmly pressed up against. You wanna make sure you're two inches away from your belly button. And then when you press the purple button, you're gonna hear two clicks. The first click is me pressing the purple button. The second click is the plunger finishing its plunge down the shaft of this thing. You can look down then at the clear window here and see the plunger there, and then you can remove it. Okay, so here we go. Five milligrams of Monjero. Uh, hoping for good results just like the last few weeks. One click, two clicks. I look down, I see the plunger is completely deployed. Now I can remove it. So that's about it, y'all. Thanks for sticking around to the end, uh, if you did so. I wanted to thank the community very much for the encouragement and for all the comments, really. It's really keeping me going, and you would not believe how helpful it is. And for all the suggestions. Uh, I'm trying some of them. Some of them I'm, I haven't tried yet, but it doesn't mean I won't. I'm getting around to it, right? I can't do everything all at once. Uh, the magnesium, like I said, uh, I told you I'd show you. It's the Magnesium Complex 500. I just got it off of Amazon. That seems to be helping with the sleep, the digestion, not so much, to be honest with you. But thanks. It does help with my sleep, I think. Anyway, guys, we'll see you next Sunday. You guys have a great week, and uh, keep on keeping on.